Welcome back, Desmond. You'll be happy to hear there's actually good news for once. Yeah? I've managed to locate a power source, and it's relatively close by. Up for a trip to Manhattan? Is it safe to leave? Abstergo's gotta be looking for us. Obviously it's not safe. Can't exactly sit around here hoping to get lucky, though, can we? We need that power source. Besides, I'm sure you can cook up some way to hide our movements. Maybe. The Templars have access to all kinds of satellites and camera systems. We'll need to find a way to mask our digital signature. I can probably camouflage the van, too. But there's not much I can do for us. That's an easy one. Companies have assured the public that they're completely prepared for the upcoming solar maximum. Disruptions to service are expected to be minimal. If only they knew. What's this? A remote operated camera. It'll provide us with a feed while you're on mission. This will let us talk to each other. We're almost there, so listen up. The artifact is in an office penthouse in Lower Manhattan. At this time of night, direct infiltration is going to get you noticed. I think we're better off having you drop in from above. What do you mean, above? Testing, one, two, three. Yep, reach you just fine. Now why don't you power up the camera? I've got pictures, running diagnostics. Perfect, I've got a nice strong signal. Seriously, Sean? Fuck you. Jesus. Look on the bright side. No security to worry about. And on the not so bright side, the slightest misstep means you're effectively at the taste. Shut up, Sean.
top of the lit up crane. You should be high enough to make the jump. Should? It'll be fine, don't worry. Well, you might want to worry a little. I'm pretty sure she was high when she was running the numbers. Mm, shot! A joke. It was a joke. Or was it? <laughs> That wasn't so bad. So, you must be Desmond. Not exactly what I expected, but I guess your kind doesn't have many options these days. Who are you? Ask your father. Now give me that. I don't think so. Look, I'm not supposed to kill you, but the boss man didn't say anything about fucking you up. So you got to the camp. So who the hell is Daniel Cross? Believe it or not, he used to be an assassin. The assassin, the way I've heard it told, but it turned out he was a sleeper agent for Abstergo, programmed to infiltrate and destroy the organization. How did he know you were there? We could be compromised. They must have caught me snooping inside their network and sent Cross to see what we were after. If they were aware of our current location, we'd know. Though, I will say this, it doesn't bode very well for future expeditions. I've set up some cameras topside. If anyone shows up, we'll see it. I'd suggest you go see about finding a socket for that power source. Or we can return to Connor if you prefer. All the artifacts in the world won't mean a thing without the key. Son? I, uh, I owe you an apology. I, I shouldn't have lashed out like that. You have to understand, I've never been very good at this. Never mind that we live rather extraordinary lives. Yeah, I kind of liked my ordinary one. You can't escape who you are, Desmond. So I've... thought we could be saved. We sought to face the sun's wrath and contain it. Four towers would be built to pull her fury into this place and dispel it. But even with all we knew, with all we had, it would take too long. A thousand years we could labor and still the work would not be done. The first tower was never completed. 
the project abandoned. We moved on, but while we labored on other endeavors, a few returned. They thought to automate the process. Metal might finish what flesh could not. If we could not meet the sun's cruel embrace, perhaps we might rebuke it. Already we could generate the fields to protect us in times of strife. But these were small and simple things. To replicate them on a scale the size of a world. We lack the energy to make it so. Half the world, they said then. It is better than none at all. We tried. Again, we failed. A quarter, they asked. Even this we could not do. A sixth, an eighth, a tenth, they cried. The answer was still the same. Perhaps in time a city might be spared. But it was time we did not have. So we moved on. Only one way to find out. I know everyone thinks I'm being silly, but I can't shake the feeling we're being watched. We are being watched. By Juno. Or some version of her. Do you think it's a recording? Or is she a ghost? Or something else? Is she talking to us the way Minerva talked to Ezio? No clue. I mean, who knows what else they were working on down here. There's still so many rooms we don't have access to. But do you think she's like literally down here, waiting somewhere, still alive? Still alive? That's mental. That I mean she'd be at least 75, 80,000 years old? So powerful, yeah, but not that powerful. They came down here looking for a way to survive. Maybe they found one. Good luck, Desmond. These are troubled times. The already uneasy alliance between the Crown and its subjects frays. And behind them both the Templars plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control. But how will they affect it here? Who supports them? And what conspiracies have they already spun? All these things I must determine. For only by knowing my enemy can I hope to stop them. Kana! Spare a moment. 
Of course. Have a look. What is it? Xing Bao, or rope dart, if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Xiao Yun to... <sighs> Sorry. We'll have to work on this. Ganondogo. Yes, my friend. What brings you here? Is the village all right? For now. What do you mean, what has happened? Men came, claiming we had to leave. They said that the land was being sold and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse. We cannot oppose the Sachem, but you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. Do you have a name? Do you know who is responsible? He is called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston, making preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft. Connor, take care. These men are powerful. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. If you insist upon this course of action, seek out Sam Adams in Boston. He'll be able to help. What have you done? When my people go to war, a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. When the threat is ended, the hatchet is removed. Uh, you could have used a tree. Suffice, Sam. We need to act, and I'm talking about more than a sternly worded letter. I sympathize with your frustrations, gentlemen, but surely you can understand. Ah, Connor. Hello again. What brings you to Boston? You. Would you excuse us, fellows? Thank you. That conversation was about to turn unpleasant. Now, what can I do for you? I was hoping you could help me locate William Johnson. Of course. I'm headed to a meeting with some men who should be able to help. Why don't you come along? Well, it's good to see the people finally taking a stand against injustice. Says the man who owns a slave. <laughs> Ooh, sorry? I practice what I preach, my friend. She's not a slave, but a freed woman, at least on paper. Men's minds are not so easily turned. It's a tragedy that for all our progress, still we cling to such barbarism. Then speak out against it. We must focus first on defending our rights. When this is done, we'll have the luxury of addressing these other matters. You speak as though your condition is equal to that of the slaves. It is not. Tell that to my neighbor who is compelled to quarter British troops, or to my friend whose store was closed because he displeased the crown. The people here are no freer than sorry. You offer excuses instead of solutions. All people should be equal, and not in terms. Hey! It's my home! No matter what you thieves called taxmen say! If the gums in Parliament who want to take my property, you tell them to sail across the pond and take it themselves! It's not open for discussion now! Open this door or these men will break it down! Ah! The bollocks! We're coming in! I trust the mounting evidence is proof enough, Connor. Continue on. I shall meet you at our destination. Is that all you have? Justice for once. I dare the governor to send more. <clears throat> you all right? I'm fine. It's not my first dance. For all their teeth and claws, these little foxes, they fight like puppies. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I'd buy you a nail, but uh, I'm expecting somewhere else.
Connor, I'd like you to meet some like-minded friends. The owner of this fine establishment, William Molyneux, and the manager and chef of his newest venture, Stéphane Chaffaut. Ah, Connor and I just had a ball uh, with some red coats and forcing some taxmen outside my home. The collectors grow bolder and more forceful. Something we must address, Samuel. Then let us raise a banner. Something to let the people know that they are not alone. The docks are an angry place of late. Protesters picketing the latest shipments of British tea. The eyes of the city are upon that stage. A Bostonian without his tea is a dangerous beast. William Johnson is smuggling the tea off the ships. One of his men tried to sell me this. A sample of what I refused. But it's from those ships. No mistaking the stamp. He's charging a king's ransom. Must be he's making a mint off those who buy it. Where is he now? I've never met the man. May I ask why you seek him, Connor? He intends to purchase the land upon which my village stands, without the consent of my people. No doubt the revenue from his little smuggling endeavor is financing the acquisition. A tax enforced on tea grants a boon to smugglers. I'll wager the same men who levy the taxes are selling the tea. A stage requires a spectacle, and I may know the play. Connor, head back to the docks and see to the destruction of the tea. If you should need us, return here. Ah. Pardon me. Oh, come on, mate.
Stefan, what is wrong? Where is Sam Adams? Who cares? I've been robbed! Oh, me le payer, ces scélérats de merde! Where are you going? To get back what's rightfully mine. Some pathetic redcoats waiting for a beating! I will match your face to your jacket, Crapul! Ces coquins me prennent mon père au Canada, et voilà qu'ils me ravissent ma propriété ici! Il suffit! Stefan, please! 
Stop and listen to me. I've listened for long enough. They come into my home and take my things? I will get my revenge. The man responsible for this will pay. His friends will pay. Voilà trop longtemps que je subis ces affronts. Ils vont goûter de mon courroux. You looking for a fight, Englishman? I'll give you what you want. s'approprier ma nouvelle demeure. I suppose you want me to tell Johnson his tea mm. just spontaneously combusted? Nonsense. Someone's responsible for this, and you will find out who. And if you can't, I'll gut you and find a smarter mongrel who can. What do we do? Create a window. to rub people blind, by decree of the British Parliament or not. British Parliament? I work for William Johnson. Johnson? And his suffering cleanly. Please. The people seem to have an ear for you. What of the things you lost? The people listen to me only because I spoke the truth loud enough, which is worth 1,000 times the content of my footlocker. The English, they can keep my things. You did well tonight. I said I'd buy you an ale when you first helped me. In place of drink, I offer you my allegiance, for what it's worth. Your aid is welcome, and I am grateful. Now, I need to find Sam Adams. Amongst ourselves. A madness that not so long if Adams keeps giving these speeches. What happens now? We wait for the signal. What signal? This meeting can do nothing further to save the country. That one.
Evening, gentlemen. Shall we be off? No. What's the matter? I have spent today drawn from one bit of madness to another with nothing to show for it. Before I go any further, I would like to know exactly what it is you intend. Of course. First, we make our way to Nathaniel Bradley's house to fetch the rest of our little group. Then it's on to Griffin's Wharf, where we board the ships and dump the tea. Simple as that. Simple seems a bit charitable. Cheer up, Connor. For tonight, we are all victors. The Sons of Liberty get to send a message to England, and you rob William Johnson of his financing. Your village will be saved. I've an idea. Why don't you lead the way? That should keep us out of any further trouble. Am I right? Damn it, more guards. We need to turn the crowd's anger to our advantage. Stay the world, Connor, and I will make it so. We need to keep those bastards at bay while the tea is being dumped. Let me help. I'm yours to command.
Gunner? We saved the last one for you. We get out of here. It is done. Johnson is dead? No. He retreated when we destroyed the team. Only to hatch some new scheme, I'm sure. You should have killed him. There was no need. <sighs> Time will tell if you speak the truth. Redun Hagedum! Redun Hagedum! Ganon Dokon. Why are you here? Has something happened? William Johnson has returned with all the money required to buy our land. He meets with the elders as we speak. I have begged him to resist, but I fear he shall have his way unless you intervene. How is this possible? We destroyed the tea. The Templars are nothing if not resourceful. You should have heeded my warning. Please, you have to stop him. Of course. Can you tell me where they are meeting? Izi na kanya dara dit kanusu de ne Johnson si unja dara rockstha. Kwa hi kanzi wat ne kanun hara dum hage dum. Ta kwa der hara dum kwa kanto.
are not your brother. You seek land, true enough. Land that is not yours, nor any person. I only There are those who would betray and manipulate. Take the land We are all too aware of the expeditions your people send against us. What do you mean, Mike? How? By signing our lands over to you? Then we'll be as one in your debt forever? Sir William may have a point. What hope have we against their black powder and iron? The spirits will guide us as they always have. Did they not guide us here? Yes, that we might unmask the great betrayer. This is a mistake. We should sign. Peace, peace. Have I not always been an advocate? Have I not always sought to protect you from harm? If you wish to protect us, then give us arms, muskets and horses that we might defend ourselves. War is not the answer. We remember, Stanwicks. We remember you moved the borders. Even today your men dig up the land, showing no regard for those who live upon it. Your words are honeyed but false. We are not here to negotiate, nor to sell. We are here to tell you and yours to leave these lands. So be it. I offered you an olive branch, and you knocked it from my hand. Perhaps you'll respond better to the sword. Are you threatening us? Yes. Oh no. What have you done? Ensured an end to your schemes. You sought to claim these lands for the Templars. Aye. That we might protect them. Do you think that good King George lies awake at night, hoping that no harm comes to his native subjects? Are that the people of the city care one whit about them? Oh sure. The colonists are happy to trade when they need food or shelter or a bit of extra padding for their armies. But when the walls of the city constrict, when there's crops that need soil, when there's... when there's no more enemy to fight, we'll see how kind the people are then. The colonists have no quarrel with the Iroquois. Not yet. But they will. It is the way of the world. In time, they'll turn. I... I could have stopped it. I could have saved you all. You speak of salvation, but you were killing them. Aye, because they would not listen. And so, it seems, neither will you. Ayawas ne yate hagum sare, amdahiyayu meskanas izagum hajjah. 